Well, a brand that a UK or the largest UK motorcycle show wouldn't be right without is, of course, Triumph. And I'm joined by Guy Masters, who's general manager of Triumph here in the UK and Ireland. Guy, some ex exciting models here for you this show. Yeah, it's uh, as once again, we've got a, a load of new products coming through, all new with the trophy uh, and replacement bikes in the Street Triple and the, and the Daytona 675. So an exciting show for us. Something that caught my eye was the Explorer SE, which with the wire wheels and the extra spec on top of the Explorer must be an important bike for you at the moment. It is. We launched the Explorer this time last year to, to great acclaim. It's now the number one selling large capacity bike in the UK. Uh, and as a continuation of that, we've, we've been introduced the XC, as you say. Um, we've given it a bit of additional spec, and it's for the first time we've got wire wheels on that bike. So um, it, we're responding to customer demand. Quite a bit of interest there as well, and you were talking earlier about the fact that 40% of your sales are in that market, in the adventure tour market. Yeah, the, um, the adventure segment has expanded greatly in the UK. Um, it is now, this year, it's the largest segment of all. It's overtaken sp super sport. Um, and so it's important that we compete in it. Two, three years ago, we had one product there. Now we've got three. So from the 800 through the 1050 to the 1200. So we've got a very comprehensive offer in that segment now. And the second of the new bikes, a trophy, is a fantastic looking machine, isn't it? How important is that to you as a brand to have that side of the market sewn up? Yeah, we've, we've been asked for a long time now to produce a tour bike with, with shaft drive. So we've responded to customer demand. We use the same engine as the Explorer, so it's 1250cc uh, with shaft drive. Um, but we've spent a lot more time and energy with the, the, the technical side of it. So it, it's got traction control, it's got cruise control, it's got ABS, it's got um, radio system, everything. So all that side of it has been introduced as well. So it's a really exciting bike for us as well. So moving on to the bikes that you've revamped then for 2013, the Street and the Daytona, another couple of great looking bikes, and you've added some nice spec on there as well. Yeah, the, the big challenge with those two bikes was they were still winning group tests up until last week. So the big question was how can you improve it, and we definitely have. The most significant change is moving the exhaust from under the seat down to the side. That's allowed us to push the weight forward and downwards on the bike, which improves the, the ride and handling. Um, the Daytona is all new from the ground up, so new engine, new frame, new swing arm. Uh, the, the street triple new frame new swing arm the engine is being slightly modified to improve fuel consumption so we've seen in the urban cycle a 30 percent increase in the fuel consumption or decrease as the case may be uh, which is a, a huge step forward in the current climate so yeah now we're really excited by those bikes now one of the things that fascinates me about the triumph brand is the fact you've got this brand with such heritage and yet it's such a young company actually when you actually look at when you formed in its latest guise and going so well in terms of production volumes around the world yeah well it, Yes, we've got a huge heritage and, and you know, we're over 100 years old. We celebrated 110th anniversary, which is fantastic. But we produce modern bikes and they use the latest technology. Even though we produce the classics range that look like Bonnevilles from the 60s and 70s, they're still using state-of-the-art technology. So there's no carryover from the old bikes. It is truly a retro bike. So for us, it's about producing modern bikes that are relevant to modern riders, not constantly harking back using old technology. I think that's important. You told us earlier about the, uh, we saw the carburetor looking uh, bike, but actually it is fuel injection. And I think retro styling as opposed to retro technology is definitely what you're looking at, isn't it, in terms of a Triumph? Yeah, we see it, you, you see it across all sorts of products. You know, Mini is a very good example where actual retro styling with very modern technology is, is a winning combination. And we see that with those, with those bikes. And as you say, when we had to switch from carburetors to fuel injection, the decision was to say, let's keep the, 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 the carburetor look, but give it the modern technology underneath. A really good example of that. How right you should mention Mini, an iconic British brand, and so is Triumph. Thank you for talking to us today. Pleasure. So there we go, a British success story going from strength to strength. Triumph have got a fantastic range here at Motorcycle Live. Right behind me is Kawasaki, and that's where we're going next.